welcome students in your english literature class today we are going to continue chapter 3 save jamuni students in the previous part you had learnt about the two boys named karan and kareem they both loved the tree jamuni but one day they saw three men with axes in their hands who were asking the way to the forest. So both the boys Karan and Kareem wanted to find why these men were asking the way to the forest what they were going to do with the axes so let us see part two of the chapter save jamuni On reaching the forest, they heard a noise. Tuck, tuck, tuck. The strangers were cutting down the trees. Now what? When Karan and Kareem reached the forest, what they heard? They heard a noise. They heard a sound. What type of sound was that? That was the sound of cutting the trees. That was tuck, tuck, tuck. The strangers were cutting down the trees. The strangers, who were the strangers? The men who came there to cut the trees, the woodcutters. What they were doing? They were cutting down the trees. Stop that. Why are you cutting down these trees? Karan and Kareem shouted loudly. Now what the Karan and Kareem said? They were saying to those men, stop that. I mean, stop cutting the trees and asking the reason. Why are you people cutting down the trees unnecessarily? Go away, boys. Don't disturb us, said one of the men angrily. Now what? One of the men from those men, what he said? Go away. And don't disturb us. In anger, the men were saying to get lost from there. He asked the boys to get lost, to go from there. Because the boys were disturbing them. So he was asking to go away. Not to disturb them. The men would soon cut down Jamuni too. Karan and Kareem did not like trees being cut down. Now what? The men, as they were cutting the trees, now they were going to cut the jamuni tree, the jamuni, their favorite tree. They are going to cut down that tree. Karan and Kareem did not like this. They don't want the trees to be cut down. So what they did? Let's go. And ask our teacher for help, said Kareem. Kareem said, Ki let us go to our teacher and our teacher is going to help us out for this. The boys ran all the way to their teacher. 
Now the boys reached to their teacher and told everything about those men, the woodcutters. On hearing their story, the teacher started ringing the school bell. Now when the teacher come to know about the story, what Karan and Karim told, the teacher started ringing the school bell. He took a, the school bell and he started ringing the bell with the help of a hammer. The villagers asked each other. Now the villagers were confused. They asked each other. What they asked each other? Why is the school bell ringing on a holiday? Let's find out. So what? They were all confused. And what was their question? The question was, why is the school bell is ringing on a holiday? Today is a holiday. And why this school bell is ringing? So what they all do? They say, that let us go there and find out that why the bell is ringing. They hurried to the school. The teacher told them what the three men were doing. The villagers were angry. They hurried to the school. Hurried means rushed. As soon as they can reach the school, they rushed to the school. The teacher told them, the teacher told them everything about the three men who came there to cut down the trees. On this, the villagers got angry. How cruel, they said. Cruel means merciless who are not having mercy for anything. So they call, the villagers called them cruel. They followed the boys into the forest. Followed means they go along with the boys into the forest where the three men, the woodcutters were cutting down the trees. The men were about to cut down Chamuni. The men. The men means the woodcutters. The woodcutters were going to cut down Chamuni. Stop. Don't touch that tree. The villagers shouted. Soon the villagers reached there. And what they shouted? They shouted. Stop, don't touch that tree. They asked them to stop and not to touch the tree. The men got scared on seeing so many people. Those woodcutters got scared. They feared, they afraid. They got afraid of the villagers because so many villagers were there. So many people are there. They threw away their axes and ran as fast as they could. So students, they, they who are they? They are the woodcutters. What they did? They threw the axes. The axes, with the help of that axes, they were cutting the trees. Axes are tools to cut down something. So they threw those axes and ran as fast as they could. Means they ran very fast from there. Thus, Karan and Kari saved Jamuni and the other trees. Thus means in this way, Karan and Kari, both the boys, saved 
the tree Jamuni and the other trees too. From that day onwards, the villagers took turns at guarding the trees. So from that day, what happened? From that day, the villagers started guarding the trees. They started protecting the trees. We all must grow more trees and protect them. What is our duty, students? That we should not cut the trees. But what? But we need to grow more and more trees. Because these trees are only giving us oxygen to breathe. Which we need. The air which we need. And we should protect them. If somebody is cutting those trees so we need to protect it it is our duty to protect those trees okay so we all must grow more and more trees and also try to protect them students the whole story is written by venita khana the story is written by Vinita Khanna. The writer is Vinita Khanna. I hope you understood the whole story very well. Thank you students for watching the video.